Hey, what's up? It's me, Fresh Creations. Today I'm going to show you how to make these super cute Hello Kitty custom smoothies. These smoothies come in different flavors. Make sure you check out the full tutorial to check out each flavor. Thank you so much for all of my subscribers. If you're a subscriber, I really appreciate your support. And to show you my support, I have made a free bow template for you guys to download and use. Make sure you check out the link below. If you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe today to get your free bow template. It's 100% free. To get started, you're going to grab any paint of your choice. I'm going to use Apple Barrel White in pink. To get the right consistency, you're going to want to mix half Mod Podge to paint. The best type of Mod Podge to use is the high gloss. So what you're going to do is take a clear cup and you're going to start pouring in each color individually. You want to fill the bottom so it completely fills. And then you're going to add that color right on the top and then you'll continue to add the color back and forth. You want about two ounces at the bottom of the cup going back and forth. You wanna make sure that you have enough to cover the cup completely. Now you're gonna just do a little bit of a shake back and forth, and then you're going to just start twisting this around. It's super easy, and each time you do it, you will get a different technique. Continue twisting it around until you almost reach the top. Once you reach the top, you can use a stick or something to kind of help spread it out so it doesn't drip down. Now you can go ahead and set this aside. Make sure you dry it upside down. For the next one, I'm just going to take that same pink and white and that pre-mixture that I made, and then I'm also going to add some hot pink in the side. And I'm gonna continue just to mix this around just like I did the first time, and I will start to spin it. Now you could shake this back and forth so you have a little bit more of that pink moving forward so you have like these nice marbly swirls. Again, once you get to the top, go ahead and set it aside. For the next one, I'm going to take a thicker paint Mod Podge mixer, and this one is almost going to be all Mod Podge with a little bit of paint, and I'm going to start placing this around the tops of the cup. You almost want it to look like a drip consistency, but you don't want it to drip when you place it on the cup. You want it to have a nice thick consistency. Now you can continue to tap this on your table until you reach your desired effect. Now you can place this aside and let it completely dry. Once it's completely dry, you can start adding your paint mixture. I'm going to be doing pink and white again in this one, and then you can just twirl it around and do exactly what you did on the previous ones. Make sure that it's completely dry before you do this part, otherwise the chocolate color will run into the pink and the white. If you have a little bit of extra inside the cup, that's okay. You can kind of just let it drip out onto a paper, or in my case, I just let it drip right here onto my table because I was going to clean up this area afterwards. For the next one, I'm going to be taking the same technique. The only thing I did different was with white. So I did like that chocolate drip, but I did it with white this time exactly the same way. And then I added the white paint and the pink paint and just mixed it around once that white drip was fully dry. Now that I've gotten towards the end, I can go ahead, set this aside, and let this completely dry. The next one, I'm going to be doing that same technique again, and I'm just going to be adding a white drip. Again, finishing all the way around and then tap it so everything goes down where you want it to go. Make sure you tip the cup upside down once you get your desired effect. And now I'm going to be adding some brown, pink, and white together. And then I'm going to start twisting this around. I wanted to kind of have a chocolatey effect in this one. Again, kind of tapping and shaking it just so I got kind of more of a mixture. I hadn't set that one aside. And now for that one that we just did a second ago, it's completely dry. I've done exactly the same thing. The only difference is I kind of mixed it around a little bit more when it was in the cup. And I also used my finger to kind of spread it out as it got closer to the opening. Now the more that you mix this, so when you do the paint inside the cup, if you continue to mix it, it'll kind of spread out more like a marble effect. 
This next one I did pink, purple, and white, and I just used a stick to kind of mix it around and make kind of a swirl pattern at the bottom. And then I did the same thing I've always done, and that is just twist the cup and kind of shake it a little bit as it gets to the opening. And you'll get a desired effect just like this. For this next one, I'm going to take pink and white again. And then I'm also going to be adding my hot pink this time. I added a little bit different pinks to a few of these just to kind of give a different effect. And then I also added purple. And I kind of just played around with this one, adding the paint inside the cup as I twisted just to kind of get more colors. I wanted to see if this would work as well. And this way it works just as well as the other way. Again, you want this to drip towards the edge and you can use your finger or you can tap it like this to get that desired effect. The best way to let these dry is completely upside down. I like to place them on top of my fan and lay them upward so that they are completely upside down and they dry really quickly this way. For this next part, I've taken some sticker paper and I have printed out these cute little Hello Kitty stickers that I have designed. Now I have designed these with a website and app called Imagine. It's an AI website. So basically what you do is you just type what you want it to make and it literally creates it within seconds. I didn't like exactly what it came up with so I ended up taking it into my paint app and I edited it the way that I wanted it to be. And that was more personal to me. So I will leave that link below so you can make your own as well. going to take a circle that fits perfectly inside the cup and I'm going to use a little bit thinner cardboard kind of like a cereal box and then I've just drilled a hole through where I'm going to put the straw and then I just place some hot glue around that. You want to make sure that the straw touches the inside of the cup so definitely measure this first before you glue it. Now you can go ahead and push this back inside and you can add some hot glue all the way around and this just will be so you don't have to put so much spackle inside. You'll only be putting spackle just right here on the top and you will save so much. And here it is, what it will look like right afterwards. And as you can see, it's pretty strong. Even though it is a thinner cardboard, it works perfect. Now I've pre-made some of my spackle paint mixture. You're just going to add some spackle and then you're also gonna add some Mod Podge and as well as paint. I have a full tutorial. I will leave that in the description below, a little bit more in depth on how to make a spackle mixture if you are not sure. A rule of thumb that I use is add small bits of paint. You don't want it super runny, but you do kind of want a whipped cream consistency for the best piping. What I've done is I've taken some pink and I've placed it on one side. And then I'm also going to take some of this chocolatey color and I'm going to place that right next to that. Make sure you keep your bag open because we're going to make kind of like an ombre color. And then you now can just start piping this around your cup. There is no right or wrong way to pipe. You can make little flowers like this, or you can make a consistent pattern. It doesn't really matter how you do it. They all come out super cute and super beautiful. And I will show you a couple different ways that I did this. So this one, I just did the little flower pattern here at the bottom. And to do that, you're just gonna squeeze, release, and pull up. And you'll continue to do that all the way around. And then I did kind of a continuous pattern on the upper layer. Now continue to do this. Make sure that you don't push outerwards. You want it to kind of make like a dome shape. So try to keep it as close to a dome shape as you can. And then now for this next one, I'm going to add white and I'm also going to be adding pink together. Then I've squished this down and you'll make that same kind of ombre effect we did on the first one. And you're gonna just squeeze this one out just like you did the first time. The only difference is instead of the flower pattern, I went in with a continuous squeeze. Again, I'm gonna keep adding this ribbon all the way around.
I did speed this up and this is what this one looks like. Now for this next one, I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the same thing I did with the continuous ribbon. And I'm going to start squeezing this all around the outside. Now I did this one a little funky just so that you can kind of see how pretty they look even if you kind of just squeeze it on there. Because when you're working in a coffee shop, they're kind of just squeezing it right into the hole there and then they're just popping the top on and they always look super beautiful. So don't be too worried if it doesn't look perfect. You do want to be checking to make sure that your tops will fit on. That's one thing I will definitely say. And then this one, I just filled it up a little bit more with that chocolate base at the bottom. And then I just piped that other color right over the top. And I just did pink and white for this one. Again, I'm just going all the way around and I'm going a little bit higher where you see the straw. And then I'm also going to be adding some of that pink and brown again all the way around this one. This one I only did it around the sides. And then I put a little bit more right up the straw. Like I said, don't get overwhelmed by this, just have fun and I promise you they will come out super cute. Now it's time to add toppings. So for the toppings on this one, I just used my fake polymer clay nuts. I will leave a tutorial description below, so make sure that you check that out. I will leave the full link there. And I believe in that video, I have several other goodies like sprinkles and things, so make sure you check that out. So for these ones, I also have these almonds and I'll leave a link in the description for this tutorial as well, but these are my polymer clay almonds. I will also leave a link below for these chocolate balls as well as the peanut butter balls and many other goodies that I have here. All of these are made out of polymer clay. For those of you who do not want to use polymer clay, um, you can go ahead and use beads. And I'm going to show you how I use these cute little pink beads to make kind of like a little boba tea look. If you notice, these have a hole in the center, so what I did is I just pushed these inside so you could no longer see that hole. I use my tweezers and just push these down, and they look super cute, and they honestly look very realistic. I ended up putting 10 of these all the way around the cup. And here is what it looks like up close. This looks super cute. I wanted to put some fake sugar on this one and I did it in purple. Now this is just my sand and pastel mixture. I will leave a link in the description for this one as well. And then I went ahead and I just added some purple sprinkles. And I noticed they weren't sticking as well, so I'm going to show you how I got them to stick. But I just used a paint and a Mod Podge mixer, and I just glazed this back and forth just so that I got enough lines so that I could stick the sprinkles. Then I just went back in and sprinkled the sprinkles back on the top of this. Then I just took some of these super cute heart sprinkles that I have. Now these ones I did not make, I bought these ones on Amazon. And then I also took some of my iridescent heart beads that came in with my Hello Kitty stuff. And I will leave a link in the description below for these hearts. As well as all of the beads and this Hello Kitty kit that I purchased. For this next one, I just used these brown polymer clay beads that I made and I just used a little bit of gloss and shined them up. And I made them kind of look like chocolate chip balls and I just placed these all over. And then I also just drizzled back and forth the chocolate. I kind of 
wanted to do a little bit of a tutorial on how I did the chocolate. So all you're going to do is take it and drizzle this back and forth just like this. There is no right or wrong way to do this. They all will come out perfect. Just make a tiny little hole in the bottom of your piping bag. For this one, I just went ahead and used my polymer clay sprinkles in brown. And I wanted this to kind of match like little chocolate sprinkles. And then I'm also going to be doing another layer in white and I just thought this looked like a nice consistency together and what I did is I just took the colors from the cups and I poured them inside these little piping bags. Now for this one I'm going to use some of these pink beads that I told you about before and again rolling it over and making sure that the hole is not showing. Again, I'm placing about 10 beads all the way around, making sure that I spread them out evenly. Now for this next one, which is pink and white and purple, I just went ahead and I made some of that white glaze right over the top. And I'm just going to be layering this back and forth. And then for this one, I did a little bit different. I ended up adding some of these iridescent beads, but they were definitely a different pink color. Again, I will leave this in the link below for where I purchased these. These came in a small pack with multiple sizes. And I'm also going to be placing these all the way around in different parts. Moving on to making the Hello Kitty bows, make sure that you get your free template. Once you get your free template, you're going to want to cut out all your pieces and we're going to make some super cute bows like this. This template will make these type of bows exactly the same ones that you see here. And then you can just place your Hello Kitty charms right in the center of these or leave them plain. Now you're going to go ahead and start by choosing two colors for each bow. And you can make two different kinds of bows with both of those colors. So what you're going to do is pick out the colors that match best. For the first one, I'm going to be using this heart one and this kind of gator skin iridescent color. I'm also going to be using some double-sided sticky tape, and this just really helps me keep this stuff folded down while I'm cutting out my pattern. I'm going to be placing the first piece on the top, and I'm going to be tracing over and around it. Then I'm just going to take my scissors, and I'm going to cut this out. Now this piece is going to be for the very bottom, the very end part of the bow. Now I'm going to be moving to the next piece, and this is going to be the larger part of the second part of the bow. I have numbered these for you guys as well, so they are easier to follow. Again, using some double-sided sticky tape, and then I'm going to draw around it and cut it out. Now I'm going to be doing the same thing again with the other fabric and I'm going to start drawing around it and then I'm also going to cut it out. Make sure that you're doing one color one way. Each piece that you do, you're kind of going a pattern. You're not going to want to do two of the same. So make sure you're doing one and then the other. You'll kind of see what I mean when I open these up. Now this part I just cut out a smaller piece and this is going to be for the center part where we're going to wrap it. you can go ahead and remove your pattern pieces and we're going to cut around the line.
Now once you've cut all of them out, you can go ahead and open them up and remove the sticky tape inside. Do that for each and every one of the pieces. You're going to take some glue or some double-sided sticky tape and you're going to fold the first one in just like this so you would fold the two tabs towards the center and it'll make this super cute little bow you're also going to do that one more time add some double-sided sticky tape in the center or glue and you're going to repeat that process this is going to be for the larger bow and that one's just going to be placed right here over the top like this. And then I'm going to add some sticky tape and I'm going to glue that down. And then I'm going to add another sticky tape and place that other bow right over the top of that. These are super simple and easy to make and honestly they're super cute when they come out. Now I'm just going to take that rectangle piece and I'm going to add some double sided sticky tape and I'm going to fold that over as well. Just like this! Here's just an example of ones that I made. You can see that they are both the same color, but they are two different patterns, but using that same color in reverse. Again, I'm just going to take that gator color and I'm going to start tracing around just like I did the first time. And I'm going to start cutting out that bottom piece on this gator color. Then I'm going to go ahead and rotate that and I'm going to use the heart pattern so the next one is going to not be the same. And then I'm going to go back to that gator pattern and then I'm going to trace around that one. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut all of these out. Again opening it up and removing the sticky tape and then cutting on that line. Make sure you don't cut over, you want to cut right at that line. And taking my double sided sticky tape and sticking it together or you can also use hot glue. Now once you've got all of your pieces here stuck back together, we can go ahead and assemble them just like we did the first ones with some glue or some tape. Again, I'm just pulling them apart here and I'm attaching them all and then I'm also going to be adding that rectangle piece right over the top and I'm using some double sided sticky tape just like this. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that process with another piece here and I'm going to go ahead and just let this part of the video play through until we get to the next part. We're ready for the next part and to make them like this you're going to attach your hello kitty charms now you can use whatever ones you may have on hand or you can use the kit that i have listed below now for the kit that i use it's for your hair and all i did was pull these off of hair brettes and hair ties and hair necklaces and i used these as charms now some of these do have a pretty strong adhesive on the back so make sure that you use some pliers to remove the backing now I went ahead and just used some hot glue and then I attached them and then I glued them onto the straw. Now here they are completely finished. I absolutely hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell for more videos like this. I have quite a few more Hello Kitty tutorials coming out and so much more. Thank you so much for watching again. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye!